Welcome my friend, family, students. <clears throat> In this video, I'm gonna teach you one more lesson about product. So I, what I did here is I created something in advance so that way we, we, we get a head start. So again, my name is Virgilio Armando Fernachoto. Today's day is, is uh, January 21st, 2025. The purpose of this uh, video is to show you how negation is used in Prolog. Uh, the way I will show you negation is by using the keyword not. As you can see on the screen, we have some facts so these are animals okay these are a collection of animals <coughs> so a sparrow is a bird so i call it a bird an eagle is a bird so we call it a bird so that's the fact so the sparrow and eagle are birds and then for the sake of it a penguin I call it uh, one I just call it Denali or this I just made that up so I can call for example another bird I can call it uh, uh, Tucan So these are my facts. These are collection of animals. So we have birds and penguin. So what I want to teach you is that when I create a uh, when I <coughs> when I create a rule, um, the rule says that the, the name of the rule says can fly. That means that we're talking about some animal that can fly. Well, what can it fly? Uh, so the way the relation I'm creating is that it has to be a bird, so it has to be one of these three. It has to be a sparrow, eagle, or toucan. So that's the first the first thing. It has to be a bird. Then we put a comma. Don't forget this one, the column and the dash. And then after the comma we put our negation. If it if it if he has, if he can fly, it has to be a bird, and it cannot be a penguin, because as as you can, as you as you know, in real life, penguins are penguins. Uh, we just we're just not gonna allow them to fly at all in this rule. In this rule, we can call it, so even to make it more easy for us, we can call it, for example, a dog. We can call it instead of instead of complicating ourselves with like that we can call it dog and we could call it uh, German Shepherd we can call another dog uh, Pitbull we can call it or well, we can call it uh, And we can have other rules. For example, we can call them a cat. We can call it a. a I don't know much about these things, but I do know some names. But right now I can't recall them. So cat, call them. A, a straw, or something like. A, Call it black cat. Okay. 
okay so now so if, if the rule says that if he can fly it has to be a bird and it cannot be a dog okay but i'm gonna take the cat out so i don't want to confuse you so, because we only have not dog okay 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 so now we're gonna compile it save it and compile so it compile as you can see here it compile on the console so the only birds that we can the only output that this rule can can output is it has to be a sparrow eagle or toucan it cannot be a german shepherd or people okay so now now we go to the we go to the console and we're gonna put can fly can fly we're gonna call it uh, bird like that I can fly bird so bird is our variable okay so the first thing that it gives us is it gives us <coughs> it is correct so the thing that can fly has to be a sparrow that is correct because a sparrow is a bird and it's not a dog let's see what else it gives us it gives us eagle that is correct eagle is a bird and it's not a dog what about a toucan it is a bird and it's not a dog so that is correct so as you can see negation works by using the keyword not so we put what it, we in this rule we put first what it has to be what the rule has to be and second we put what it cannot be So let's save it. Okay, for future, we're gonna save it. So our query gave us the correct output. It gives us sparrow, eagle, and took, and that's what we wanted actually. Okay, so my friends, this is all and family and everybody. That's all I wanted to teach you on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.